Hey guys, how you doing? I'm, I'm good. There you go. How are you feeling? Better than last time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I Toward, had fun. Towards I, the I end of the I episode, I, I started just like shutting down and I was just like, I was like ping pong watching you guys' conversation. Like I like couldn't put words like together and make them come out of my mouth. I didn't even remember what the last episode was, like what we talked about. Like I, it was almost like I blacked out. Yeah, I was and zooted. Man. It was fun watching the highlights <laughs> and being like, I remember that. That was good. And Mariah got so fucking high where she wasn't even there. Like yeah. she was just off camera. I was she gone. got <laughs> bit of a ghost. I was gone. Jaded. What was the oh for the people tuning in, if you didn't know, the last episode, we smoked weed and we're high <laughs> for the first for time. The first time on camera. If you mm -hmm. want to watch it, it's out there. First just time. to fill you in, we got high. We've never smoked weed. But before. Mariah edited it. What was your thoughts watching the the footage back? I thought it was so good. I don't know. <laughs> Like, I, I was telling Heath, I wish that you guys uh, didn't remember what you remembered in your head because it came across as, like, you guys, like, spoke more logically. Like, you hit a side of your brain. Okay. Like, there was questions asked. And normally when there's a question asked, I have to cut it because there's a pause because you guys are thinking of your answer. This time, there was no pause. You had an answer, and it made sense. That's pretty insane that there's, like, usually I have to think about what I have to say. And by the time I'm thinking it, yeah. it we're already on to the next thing. You know yeah. what I mean? But, like, she was saying that, Zane, you should smoke more before. I think he should get medicated just a little bit. In yeah. I was watching it, and I was like, they're so funny. Like, you were very witty. You weren't overthinking it. It's so oh funny because in my head, I'm like, I'm taking so long to answer. And, like, the time felt like it was, like, yeah. a yeah. minute, but it passed, like, nothing watching it back. Or I it felt like we had been recording for 40 minutes. And it had only been 20. We had a whole fight in the kitchen about how long we were recording. And I knew we were recording for just fucking 20, 30 minutes. And they're like, no, we've been recording for an hour and a half. I'm like, there's no an fucking way. <laughs> the no episode's fucking... done. We haven't even done the intro yet. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. You want to so, roll this intro real quick? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Um, it's, it's coffee, coffee talking, baby. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I was trying to get on your level. Do Wait, pink? Did someone mess with the glass? Yeah, we should were... we change the color? Should we... Is pink our vibe today? Yeah, let's do yellow. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh. I, I was thinking about the guests. What do I see in yellow. our guests? Yellow. Hmm. Orange and yellow. Are you guys excited <laughs> the about biggest the biggest color for the <laughs> I am. I Because I read like... Every like is the whole internet like everybody on TikTok knows who this kid is. I feel like there's like a, some sort of mystery to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like there's some. I feel like I don't know him at all. Yeah. Let's he's go. Got, he's let's go mystery. beyond what people see exactly like let's go beyond the obvious let's exactly. not be boring like let's let's get into it mm -hmm. let's crack this coconut there you go we put people i feel like we put our guests <laughs> in a good light on this show and that's, and that's why, why i like crumbles. it <laughs> <laughs> but oh, we're uh, we're trying a new structure for this episode we're not going to have the guests for the full episode we're going to have them in like the second half or whatever i don't know when he'll show up with the way mariah edits but he'll be like the second half and we'll see how how it works. We just wanted to get our momentum going yeah. as a group, like so we're more fresh and sharper and warm by the time and uh the guest comes in. Because exactly. sometimes we start it off, the guest comes in, we haven't even sat in our seats and it we just feel it's a little stale. Yeah. There's also a lot of stuff we want to talk about before we get into the guest. Um, like recapping the weed episode and just like a little update on us yeah. so even our guest doesn't about, have to hear about yeah. it. Yeah. Even talk about the guest too. Yeah. Like No, it'll be fun. I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel high again. I don't. Oh, did you guys know did you that? Smoke? No, oh. I didn't. It's just like. What were you about to say, Zane? I was saying, did you guys know that White Claw, they're raising the alcohol up to 8% for the summer? No, Ooh. well, not all White Claws. They are, it's like they're making like a Bud Light Platinum of White Claw. Ah, what's it at right now? It's uh, at five. No, it's at know. five. So I don't know. Is eight going to be that much of a difference? Like, what's the point of going to eight? If you're going to do, do it so. like twenty five percent or something, you know, make it fucking crazy. No, it crazy. makes a difference. Like buzz balls. Yeah, those things will get you going. What's a yeah. buzz ball? They're like these little um, cans, but they're the shape of a ball. They're like a globe, and, and they have them at gas top. stations. Like little. But they are. The are they like eleven percent alcohol? Those are alcoholic. Know. Yes, and they're I so for good. little kids. No. no. Hold on. What, what, you like, know what's some moms have messed there's up. There's different flavors. So there's like a chocolate martini. There's what like else a neon is there? Green. I just I'm thinking you know, of buy the flavors. These at gas stations. Yeah, oh, they're, they're so fun. Like if you're at like a rinky dink town and you go to a gas station, they're gonna have a bunch of things. Set it down. It's got it's a little flat, flat bottom. on the bottom. Oh. You'll feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're fifteen percent alcohol. Whoa. Come again? Wow. They're so tiny. They're like they're like this big. I don't understand the whole like percent. Like, isn't there like a law where you can't go past a certain percent? 
when you make like alcoholic drinks, right? Um, like the fact that they went from five to eight, they had to have gotten some approval. Some sort of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Run it by well, a board. No, people do that. Like you can have 8% like IPA and stuff all the time. Yeah. Now, but uh, what, what what is the difference between like the alcohol percent versus like a uh, like a hundred proof? Hundred proof got is like that's a liquor. Proof. Yeah. These, these are like uh, these are in a different category than like a liquor, a spirit. Uh -huh. You know, liquor. I barely know her. Liquor. Maybe don't lick her at all. <laughs> I will leave her alone. <laughs> yeah. But what, but what he said like forty proof, eighty proof. Does that mean it's like eighty percent alcohol? Like well, what? then they have one fifty one, which is one hundred and fifty one. Oh, know. I don't know. I never know proofs and stuff. When someone's like, oh yeah, this is, I like walk away. I do that. <laughs> you do. Check this so, out. So explain the proofs then. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking. We don't around. have proof. We're not doing fact checking. No proof here. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I'm curious. Devin, can I have a? This is why we need to hire more people. Devin is running around doing eight different things. Devin, can you pop me in a pop tart? <laughs> All right, you got. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm kidding. Why don't you fill in the so, spot until the guest comes? Put your feet. Do it uh, at the yeah. same time. She got little bitty feet. Uh, yeah. Size three. <laughs> in women, actually, size two. two. Yeah, but I right. buy a three, so I don't look stupid. Show your feet off. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Make that money. <laughs> you, you know, some people I got a pair of this god. month. <laughs> Make an OnlyFans for your feet. They might. <laughs> Mariah doesn't show her feet for like three months. I like, title what? it Rare Size. <laughs> <laughs> Rare Size. Oh, let's talk about Yosemite. Yosemite. Yeah. So we just got back from Yosemite. We went for a few days, and have you been? No, but it, I've seen pictures. It looks dude, it is beautiful. mind blowing. It scares me. Like the sheer size of these rock formations is unbelievable. Yeah, like it is breathtaking. It makes you believe in God. Yeah, it, and dude, knowing it's that they've nuts. been there forever, the amount of people that have touched where you touch, like oh, it's, it's so, so cool. cool. That's where uh, Alex Honnold scaled yeah, the entire thing. Right. What's it called? So there's Half Dome, which is like the big back rounded with like the uh, flat front. And then the Don Wall mm -hmm. is with uh, El Cap. Yeah. Oh, El but, Capitan. That's what he yeah. climbed. Oh. So yeah. So it's it's the same like rock, but one side is the Don Wall. Free climbing. Oh, Nothing Fuck. attached. Like when Fuck you like that. like are standing at a distance, you're looking up like this, and Doesn't you're just seem like, real. I was imagining what he was like feeling going up that. Not his wife, that's for sure. <laughs> I felt so bad for that girl. Watching that documentary, I was having, f I was shivering. I was, I don't know how. How people can fucking do but that. But it's crazy because like when you're there, like you can like look up and you see people in their tents on the side of the Camping. mountain. Like they're just hanging they, their like they, little They bed. hang their tent down and they're just like, like at night you'll see like a flashlight yeah. on inside the tents and the tents are like glowing. I'd be scared you're, to roll you, off the fucking side. Tomorrow, Imagine. My friend's coming into town You'll meet him. He's done all of that. So like he, I, rock, he rock climbs? Yeah, he's climbed the biggest mountains in the world. And he's he, he's been on his Instagram story and is panned over. And it's just he's on top of a fucking cliff. I'm like, wow. I, don't, I don't get how people can like handle that. Some guy went uh, missing the day we went. I don't know if you knew that. The A rock climber? Yeah, the 22nd. Oh, my God. Yeah, people were sending me the articles and they were like, hey, I know you guys were there this day. I was just wondering if you saw him. Wow. So he That's was awful. on. Wait, a climber. Damn. I don't know who he was, but the um austin said that he was on the north side of the the waterfall and we were on the south side damn but i was like imagine the people all those people that we interacted with and talked to like the right. those three days imagine it was like one of them but it i didn't recognize him god it, every it's scary out there though don't like, go by yourself especially like on the hikes everything is so slippery because it's like granite mm -hmm. and like the rocks have been so worn down and like polished from people just like hiking the trails yeah it is slick. And these huge rocks and mountains, they're not made for climbing. Like, nobody made them it. to climb. They just find a way to get up there. That's what blows my mind. Just like, get it's the machine like... that does this with the little colorful <laughs> little rock. Yeah. 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 yeah, just do that. <laughs> <laughs> because it keeps going up. Just pretend that you're on a mountain. I saw this TikTok where it said, if you guys have little kids... Prepare a treasure chest for them one day to discover. Make it now and go bury it. And then make this really um, obscure treasure map okay. and put it in their room framed as their kids. So they're, as they grow up gradually, they will s one day go, what is this on my wall? And then you're going to be like, I don't know. What do you think it is? Or say, like, I think it's an old treasure map. And they're going to be like, really? Oh, I like and that. And as they continue to get, make it still kind of complex. And as they continue to get older, they'll start keep, they'll keep looking at it. 
as they continue to get older, they'll keep looking at and it and revisit it. Just... And they go, wait, they'll figure out the first clue and then they'll trace it down in everything. And you'll have the greatest treasure hunt for your kid. Once they figure plan. out, it's like a treasure map. You don't right. tell them that. Yeah. You, you, That's you really plan cool. it for years cool. and you just wait for them to slowly figure out the thing in their room is the treasure My map. My kid is just like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just toss it. Toss it. You're like, oh, what did you do? I saw this thing on TikTok too, where it was like, this guy makes like CDs, it's like uh, kind of like records, like you know the big giant uh -huh. records you put. And I forgot what it was, but it would play, and you, it's an audio of your entire wedding. So everybody saying something to like about you on your wedding day, and you get to listen to it on this like record. That's a good idea. Oh, my cute. parents have that oh. on video of everybody. Like they've walked I, around yeah. the wedding with a microphone. I want that at my wedding. And they have, yeah. It's I really think cool. I think I'm missing like an important piece of that story. I just forget what it was. It was like I watched it a long time. So ago. they like record it, but then they turn it into a vinyl. Yeah, but I, there's a there's an important piece that I'm missing to this fucking story, and I, I forgot it. But it was really cool. I remember watching. I'm like, this is fucking sick. Yeah, I planted a time capsule in my backyard. That's my dream. We had, we moved to my mom. Like made me dig it up. We buried my dog in my backyard. Yeah, I buried my hamster and uh Yeah, we fish. put uh we put our hamster in a uh Ninja Turtles shoebox. Oh, cute. Aww, that's cute. <laughs> you watched Ninja Turtles as a kid? Oh my god, yeah. Hell yeah. I, I've, I've never I haven't seen one episode. Teenage <laughs> one. I had the movie on VHS. That's why I like pizza so much. Did those turtles live in the gutters? Where do they live? The, the they, sewer. The sewer. The, the sewer, gutters sorry. of your house? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> sorry. Teenage Mutant I Ninja fucked up. Gutter. I meant the sewers, not the gutters. Same thing. It's like the same Shit, yeah, they were, they were underground. The yeah. Sewers, and then get yeah, some toxic waste went down and mutated the turtles into oh, and they were teenagers. And then you know each one of their names are like painters, painters like Donatello, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci, <laughs> Michelangelo. Yeah, but the only one that didn't make sense was Raphael. Yeah, Raphael or these. Oh, oh. I, uh -oh. I <laughs> update update on what your testicle. No, no, I, I don't have an update yet. I'm still waiting for the results, but I did. <laughs> so I did go to an ultrasound for my for my for my ball sack, and I was a little nervous for it because I I just didn't know what was gonna happen, what they were gonna do. You know, I've never gotten an ultrasound. Don't they like check put, on like, my the, jelly? The jelly. Uh, it, it was, was it was it was it, it was strange. So they had me sit on this bed. It was almost like the way it was like. The, like the way it was lit, the way it was like, oh, hey, just lay down here. It was almost like I was about to get like a happy ending. It was just like they made it feel very comfortable and like candles everywhere. It was really strange. And candles? No, candles? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, that is the most I unprofessional. If, if I walked in to get my balls checked and the doctor lit a candle, I would walk out. I'm like, hold on. Play God music. Damn. Yeah, burn some incense. Oh, no, no. They did play. They did play music. They did oh play music. God. So I got on. She was like, "Okay, so like you got to take all your clothes off, but keep the top portion oh, on." Oh, it was a girl. Yeah, it was a girl. So you put the put the towel oh. here. You got to you got to tuck your penis up. Put the towel over. It, hold it, and then put the a roll of towels between your legs, and then you got to push your your balls out. So the only thing oh. showing is my ball sack. So I'm sitting <laughs> oh there, I'm like, ready? My God. She comes in just. <laughs> Just oh, red, no. red. Did you trim? Did you, yeah, I was just going to say, shave? did you shave? shave? I did like a week ago, so I was fine. And then I, <laughs> <laughs> everything was fine. And like, so she was like, all right, I'm putting, I'm putting the jelly on. So she puts the jelly and she's like, it's going to be warm. And then she starts Ooh, going warm. and she's just, don't, she shouldn't. Do <laughs> well, no, she's like, she's just, she's like, it's going to be warm. So like, just, uh, she's heads just up. preparing me. Heads up. So she's, <laughs> she put all your loins. <laughs> she put, she put, it was really cold in the room. So she put it on. She's like, ooh. I, I'm sorry the room's cold I'm like yeah it's really cold because I had to like pull it off because it was shrinking because it was so fucking cold so I had to like just pull it up pull it on it and then like she's doing the exam and there's music playing okay so she's going she's just like taking like just a ton of pictures of your <laughs> or for her own personal <laughs> <laughs> what is this? She's just, she's sure just, she's just like she's, she's, right. yeah, she's putting like a face filter on your balls. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, she's she's doing she's taking like pictures on the computer of like just like ex just doing her thing, and all of a sudden the music play and then it switches. <laughs> So silent, and then the song switches to blah. Dun, 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 the song Pony. Oh, right <laughs> song, in my no. pony. Genuine's what? pony. And that song starts playing, and I, I'm just like, 
And then it got really silent. And then 10 seconds, 10 seconds later, she realized what was playing. Jump on and it. she was like, oh my God, I am so sorry. And I'm dying laughing. I'm like, That's no, really it's okay. It's funny. fine. I don't care. And she's like, no, 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 no. I got to switch this. And she turns around and like puts a song down. And she puts like, lowers the In song. In your head, were you like, what is this woman doing? <laughs> I thought really it was on a it prank like, show. Like the what would yes. you do show. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. What well, kind of prank show would that be though? You're all blurred out. They're like, smile, gotcha. We got cameras. And you're like, <laughs> right in. It, it was it was just, it looked like it was staged. It was just so funny, and and she lowers <laughs> she lowers the music down a lot, and then she she goes. It gets really silent. We were talking about like what just happened. It was hilarious, and then it gets really quiet, and you could still hear it a little bit. <laughs> and she's just like, I, I'm I'm sorry. Was it I'm her sorry. playlist? No, it, like it was just the song of the office. Like they just, why would I think, they play that? I think it was like music you'd hear in a dentist's office. It was just like the radio. Yeah, but they or usually something. play like the radio. Like that. That's it, like I a think song it, on somebody's phone. It was the radio. It was like usually the like in a they dentist's have office. They played on Jimmy it. Buffett or something. <laughs> like I don't know, just something. Just I mean, casual. they didn't put fucking like sex music playlist. They put like probably just pop playlist or some shit, and that just popped up. Well, what if it was a wet ass pussy? <laughs> <laughs> My version plays. <laughs> Oh Awkward. Okay, so she so puts she, the jelly, so she does a little. Pick. Yeah, uh, and, and can I'll you send... see your balls on a screen? No, I wanted to. I, I, I wasn't allowed to look at the screen. She could. She wasn't allowed to tell me what she was seeing, which was really strange. I think. I don't think she was allowed to say anything because that, like an actual doctor has, has to, to tell look me at what, the yeah, yeah. If a person's doing an X ray, they don't. She go can't like, just be like, "Ooh, I think you have cancer." Like she can't. Yeah. Do that. Mm. <laughs> but she did say she did say there was like nothing serious, which is like good. But she was like, I'm going to give the doctor. He's going to check it out. So I haven't gotten the results yet, but I'll probably get it like Monday or right something. before she like left the door, she goes. By the way, nice set. Love the nice podcast. Set. <laughs> no, I was gonna say love the podcast. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. When I when I did get a physical, I did like I was young and I didn't know like how they worked, and like I just like I don't know where I got this thought in my head, but like I went to get checked, and you know how they like make you drop your pants yeah. and then, like turn your head and like he holds it, whatever. Um, he told me to drop my pants, and for some reason I thought like I just had heard all this stuff. I was young. About like I didn't know if it was prostate or whatever. Like I just, for some reason, I turned around and I bent over. Oh no! <laughs> you he did not. I swear to God. You probably saw it in a movie. Once. I don't know what it was, what I was thinking, but he was like, "All right, go ahead and drop your pants." And like the next thing was to like turn your head and cough. But I literally turned around and I bent over and I spread my ass. <laughs> you thought and you were in jail? I was whoa, sitting there. like, whoa there, he cowboy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes, whoa, Nelly. All right, great. Nice <laughs> he did not. He, did I, not. he said, okay, great. <laughs> okay, great, thank you. He was you. just like, all right, now you can turn around now. And I didn't realize until afterwards that like, I would never that was show face not there. I what I was never supposed show up to do. There again. The paperwork is like anal, healthy. Check. <laughs> no hemorrhoids. Check. I don't know. I was young. I was naive. It was a different time. It was a different time. Yeah. And then I got my TMJ appointment. I've been having all these appointments. I, Nexus Botox and all this Go shit. Ahead, baby, do you. I know. Wait, but you had a TMJ appointment? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, I, what'd they say? They, well, oh my god, we've been waiting for this. This is the, these are the points I fucking hate. So like, I, I like, I, I knew I like there's something wrong. I needed like I wanted to go straight to like a TMJ MRI like clinic to get like just a screening immediately because you know it, I, I obviously have something. But they made me go all the way out like an hour out to like a doctor's. It took so long to get there because of traffic. I got there. I go up to see the doctor. He's like, "All right, let me feel," and I go, and he's like. All right, I'm gonna sign, I'm gonna get you onto an MRI clinic. Like that was it. It, it took like 20 seconds yeah. for this guy to be like, "All right, just we're gonna get you an appointment." Like, oh, why? What a pain in the why ass. couldn't I just go straight? Now I just paid like three hundred dollars to see this guy. To sign, they have to sign off on that. But I thought you could just get like a. Well, you have to get like a, a prescription to like basically get an MRI. Yes. Right. Like yeah. you have to be like approved. Yeah, you can't just walk in and ask for right. an MRI. Scan me. Yeah, just come on. I'm asking for it. I are you dying for it? I had to get an MRI, and they wouldn't give it to me because I had a heart ablation. But the guy was like, "You're sure there's no metal in your body?" I'm like, oh, "No." The only oh. heart surgery I ever had was an ablation, and he pulls out the book of like heart surgeries and like comes out and is like, "I don't know, man. I have to talk to your cardiologist that did this ablation because you some have- cases there could be metal in your body." And I'm like, "I feel like I would know." 
But then again, I was like, do I want to take that chance and get an MRI and just a piece of metal? Oh my god! Out oh of my, chest? my god! Just <laughs> boom. But uh, he was he insane. was freaking out. He goes, you shouldn't be. I'm like, come on, let's go, fire it up. Do you Can think you... that's ever happened? Where yes. like some? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god! There's people that don't know. Imagine that feeling. Oh shit! Ooh. That's why they make you take out piercings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, all that. Metal? I almost, oh, I almost yeah. didn't want to take my nipple piercings out. <laughs> oh, imagine. <laughs> Be traumatizing. Mm -mm. Noah Beck is on his way. I've never met him. Have you met him? I've met him once, but it was like in passing for like five seconds. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought you guys were like best friends. No, no, we're oh, not best wow. friends. We will I've be best friends once. after Super this. Super nice guy. Yeah. Are you excited, Mariah? Very excited. Are you nervous? That he's going to swoon my woman? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah's not going to be allowed to look at him. She's going to be like, so Noah. <laughs> so we have Noah Beck. <laughs> <laughs> if you were young, would you have a crush on Noah Beck? Would he be like your favorite? Your type. It's okay if he's not. <laughs> I'm not looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a teenager, right? He's 19. Mm -hmm. oh Deflecting. God, like teenagers at that age didn't look like that. Like he looks, he like, looks a like, like a man. grown man. Yeah. Like, he definitely looks like early 20s. That's crazy. If I started working out, I wouldn't look like that for like 10 years. Yeah. The answer to your question is probably yeah. Probably. Oh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, do you think it's he, okay are you cool with that he's hot as hell because yeah. i like like cameron dallas i feel like that's the same feel. oh Ugh. Yikes. imagine we're back, panning back and forth we're talking all of a sudden it goes to that couch she's gone it goes to Noah. she's sitting, <laughs> she's sitting on his lap <laughs> <laughs> on his lap, not even just right Can next to that? it. That's really Wait, funny. Like, you don't even need to be on his lap, but I think just you can like, be, like, be like I, you can be kind of next just to him. Just like, just like, like on, hey, just, just on his side, like this, just like this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> what should so we wait, say? He's in Sway House. Yeah. Okay, I want to get that right. I was like right in hype Do house. Do you even and bring like, all that up? I feel like they've no. they've talked about it all. I feel like it's burnt out. It's, it's like, fun to talk about other shit up. and have him have him be a part of it. What position on the soccer team? And now, were you a good soccer captain? Were you like, guys, we need to get our act together? Like yeah. those types of questions. Did he start the huddle? Yeah. What can you? We don't have a soccer ball for him. Can you do any cool tricks? We, we do have a golf ball though. We do have time it's to close. go get a soccer ball. So maybe he <laughs> can maybe he can who, hop around. With who that. do you think he's bringing? <laughs> Um, I don't know. What if he What if he shows up with like a team of six? That would suck. I don't like when there's a lot of people watching. Oh, Patricia's <sighs> plastering a table. <laughs> Getting into plastering. Look what she did with this table. Oh, she's look at the renovations. My Brockhampton shirt. What the? She she's wearing plastered. one of my Brockhampton she just tied shirts. And she, she plastered the table. Look how good that looks. That's nice. Yeah, but like, she's wearing my Brockhampton shirt. <laughs> she <gasps> take, she, wow. Is that what is that white thing on your shirt? Plaster. I saw a TikTok that paint thinner is in a lot of our cereal. I've heard that a long time cool. ago. Paint is in our cereal? Paint thinner. Well, I've also learned there's like shrimp in Cinnamon Toast Crunch. No. What? Yes. No, there's Whose not. Whose husband has been going on a rant about oh. this? Oh, no. It was a, it was it like was a, like a joke. tweet thing. Like there like was a, a shrimp Wait. in my thing. I know, but that was some famous person's like husband. Yeah, I think it was like a meme. I think he was trying to like be funny. No, I thought it was real. Oh, that's real? He went on a huge thing, completely convinced that there was shrimp in it. But that we... I thought people were attacking him because it was like fake oh, or something. I don't know. Should I look it up? If it was real? I so listened. Wait, oh, there's their paint thinner. What do you mean, Heath? The ingredient, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know chemistry. Well, Cinnamon Toast Crush does sound like a cereal that would have paint thinner in it. Because it's too good. I read that Our Doritos have, <laughs> some, have red dye number 40, which enhances ADHD. Yes, and that's why they don't want your kids eating like... And I love Doritos. So. Oh, that's... Mariah, that's why we so fucked I up. I love Doritos. Damn. Okay, so trisodium phosphate is in a lot of our cereals. Isn't it in like toothpaste? That's sodium laurel sulfate. <laughs> I was testing you. I knew that. I used to know the whole table of elements, like where everything goes. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Because like, we had to do it for extra credit. I was all over that. That's number one. They told us to, I don't remember it anymore. Is that oxygen? <laughs> <laughs> Put her on the spot, man. Call her ass We out. used to get extra credit for knowing the Declaration of Independence. I learned that. The President's in Order. Really? I learned that. I loved like, those challenges. I needed extra credit every time. Nucleus, the brain of the cell. Cytoplasm fills it well. Vacuole, storage sac, cell membrane, covers like a wrap. Mitochondria is the power source. <laughs> ER moves through that, a You can even flow. You can turn Iso a mic off, right? Digest the <laughs> waste. Golgi bodies pinch in place ribosomes where proteins made chromatin is dna chloroplast all right we're gonna just end this episode guys thank you so much for not watching for all now i know my parts I of the cell don't want my teacher think i'm swell i read Sorry. another <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid Mariah, I, I, shut up
<laughs> Shut up. I read it. If we were on the topic, I read another story where this woman, um, she found a finger in her Wendy's chili. That, oh, this oh, happened what, in oh, 1999. Yeah. No, it was, it was a long time. I don't know if everybody it knew it, though. Yeah, no. No, it wasn't real. Oh. It wasn't real. <laughs> oh, I thought it was. No, it was just a mozzarella. Oh, stick. so nobody knew. I, I this ruined the story because I, I just was like, yeah, we hearing, know. Like the rumor. No, no I she know. found a finger in her chilies, and it was a real finger, but she planted it there. Like her husband, somebody that he works with, lost a finger on the job, and he said he'll take oh. care of it. Oh, so he she took got the sentenced finger. to four years in prison for planting a and chilies lost in a millions bowl. of dollars every single day oh, because really? of it. Yeah. Look at her. Even as much press I had that it was a fake finger, people still didn't buy Why it. Why did I say well, it was 1999? Before, they, didn't, they didn't know right away that it was fake. Oh. She went a long time with like pressing charges oh, and stuff. Oh, 2005. It was, she was trying to get some money. Yeah. Some There's fraudulent a, torts. But There's like a, the husband took the finger from the job and then they planted it. But she's done it before. <laughs> uh, uh, could I have that? <laughs> it was a Wendy's in San Jose. <laughs> you, can you imagine going to work that day? Just like Imagine having it in a <laughs> Ziploc bag and you're just like... I was pretty... Like it's all frozen up with dry ice. Pouring it out into your food in the restaurant? <laughs> like, imagine how many people actually do that. Like plant shit in food just to get a free fucking, free fucking meal. Have you done that? Have you ever done that? Anybody Planted here? Why something? would you do no. that? No. No. I've never swindled my way into a free meal. Yeah. If you put a finger in the coffee... That'd be it, fun. It'll get our name out there. <laughs> Everybody will know. I cut my own off. <laughs> Is Noah back showing up? <laughs> yeah, it's he like, was supposed to be here. It's like the girl. Oh, shit. The... He's been sitting outside for. Shut up. Five minutes. Are Ooh. you kidding me? Yeah, my bad. All right. Well, when we return from the breaks, no, we will find go out. Get him. If... Go get him now. I feel terrible. Well, he's... No, we're going to be outside. So we might. We got to end this segment. Go, he's outside. Go. You just said, right? Yeah. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor for this episode, BetterHelp. In 2021, talking about mental health is finally a thing, so that's why we were so excited to be sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Mm -hmm. Baby, it's okay to talk about your feelings now. Exactly. It is a new time. It's, be open. It's like, it's been a rough couple, I would say a couple of years. It's been a rough couple of years, and I know I needed to see like somebody. I just need to talk to somebody, because you know, friends right. are not enough sometimes. You need to talk to oh! an actual, I know, I know, it hurts, but sometimes you need to talk to like an actual professional that's like, that knows how to exactly. deal with this stuff and i know i am right now because like i have a lot going on you guys know i have a lot going on right now and mentally it, physically just like emotionally I, I just need to talk to somebody about it you know and better has got you covered baby you don't need to be ashamed it's time to do better for you because you deserve better and better help gives you tools to help you with motivation anxiety depression insecurities with your relationship work stuff literally baby, anything everything they got it covered and what's great is that it's an online chat you could do video you could do a phone call if you don't want to see anybody mm -hmm. and I, I know personally for me it's kind of hard to open up to somebody in person i yeah. feel like more vulnerable so doing something online or over the phone is always so much easier so i i, I really enjoy it and it's so much more affordable than in-person therapy mm -hmm. like we all know that like that can get so expensive up quick and you can start with a therapist in under 48 hours. So try better help and join the millions of people who are seeing what therapy is really about. And it's always a good time to invest in yourself because you are your greatest asset, mm -hmm. baby. Baby, take care of your mind. Yeah. Again, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and our unfiltered listeners are going to get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. Again, that's betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you, BetterHelp. We love you. I used to love eating pineapples. I eliminated yeah, pineapples, pineapples give out you of my canker sores. Because there's an enzyme in pineapples that breaks down the lining of your mouth. And it's not just pine. I think just anything citrusy. If you eat a lot of citrus, that's what causes. Yes. Yeah, so I try to avoid citruses. This isn't the type Cit of conversation we're about to have. By the way, <laughs> I was like, he's like, yeah. I was like, what kind of show is this? I was learning new things. I was like, <laughs> so no citrus. No, I, canker I sores and check. pineapples. Well, no, I'm so sorry. You were waiting outside for five minutes. I'm sorry. We were we were in the moment. We were fucking. We were was it five minutes on? or was it longer oh, yeah. than five good. minutes? No, he was just being nice. He was out there for thirty. No, I was good. All right, ready? Yeah. All yeah. right, let's. Uh... He's here. <laughs> He's here. Yeah. 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 Thank you guys. Thank you. I forgot we uh, like take pictures of guests. I look over my eyes like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, give us a slate. Name, age, height. <laughs> why? Why do you need all that, Mariah? What else do you need? <laughs> I can't. I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, Noah Beck, nineteen years old, six foot. 195. I feel like he's doing an audition. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you were six foot, though. I thought you were like same height as me. 
No. But how tall are you, how Matt? Are you? That's six, what he three. wants to hear. Oh. oh. Six three. <laughs> yeah, I came in. Uh, you came in. I was like, oh. Didn't remember him. Yeah, being... I saw him at the game. Like, no, fuck, no. he's tall. Because <laughs> <laughs> I saw him when I was he was we're, he was sitting down, so I didn't really. And he was see still him. taller than you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Did you get tall at a young age, or did you late bloomer? No, I was a late bloomer. Oh. I shot up, and I had like bad growing pains because of it. Because I grew up playing sports, and like I was always like the small little quick one. And I played I played soccer, so I was always just a small quick one. And then I hit a growth spurt, and then I became slow and like big, and I was like, this sucks. Oh, to me, you're a football adapt. guy. Yeah, I don't see soccer at all. Yeah, no, I I played soccer since I was three, and I went to college for and everything. So. Wow. D one, right? Yeah, sick. Yeah, do you miss it so much? Yeah, yeah. So soccer was my life. Honestly, that's you all. You can I ever still do it, do. right? Is that weird? You could. I mean, yeah, no, I could do like a soccer channel. That'd be fun. I've thought of it, and yeah, I just miss it. Like I want to go could, back. Could into you? It, could honestly. you walk on to like a, a team out here for like? I'm sure he here? could walk on. Homeboy <laughs> got try it. full ride scholarships. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like, do they do that for soccer? Like, I know you could like walk on for like a football and like try out. Yeah. If you're like, good enough, that's yeah, called so. streaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, that was <laughs> this is serious, Matt. Okay, no, let's be serious. <laughs> so you got a full scholarship to Yale, right? Yale University, or is uh, Yale? <laughs> Yale? Yale? That was like, people took that. Oh, that's not true. So I got a scholarship. Devin, to what you. the fuck? <laughs> Wait, uh, even... Look up the Hold on, let's hear it. Just the whole, give us the rundown the of whole your Yale soccer journey. thing was so like taken out of context. People were like, "He got a full ride," and like I never said like, I got. Yale showed interest. They uh -huh. gave me a scholarship, but they don't do. I'm not sure. They don't do athletic scholarships at Yale or academic. I'm not sure which one, but they don't okay. do one or the other. So you can't get a full ride to an Ivy League oh. school like that. Unless you oh. join the rowing team. <laughs> exactly. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you, come on. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So Yale, like, obviously, like, my parents were stoked and everything that they showed interest. But I'm like, I don't want to go to school. Especially, I don't want to go to, like, an Ivy League school. Like, I want to go to a school that's good at soccer. And Yale was not the best at soccer. And so Damn, I was like, you denied uh, Yale. That's pretty crazy. Pretty... My dad was also like my coach growing up. And so he was always hard on me, but it was like he, so he was the high school in Arizona. He was like the high school air soccer coach. Mm -hmm. And so when I was five, six years old, I started training with them. Like just obviously oh, not like, competitively, but like right. I would just like jump into their drills and like, yeah. I was like kind of, you were like raised develop. into it. Yeah, I, I had to like develop quickly. And like, I think that helped me a ton, like growing up and being able to like play at a higher level. And so, That's cool. I, yeah, so I think that helped a lot. But I had a few schools interested. And yeah, so I, I ended up choosing uh, University of Portland because I took a few visits. And so, University of Portland was a smaller school, it's like a private Catholic school. Yeah. And so, it had like 5,000 people max. And I chose them because when I took my visit, they had no football team and their main focus was soccer. And so I think that was like very attractive to me, like right. seeing that. And I was like, they put all their attention into the soccer team. So I'm like, and they were really good. As opposed to like a big name school that doesn't yeah. really care about so soccer. Like I, I yeah. took a visit to UCLA as well. And I was like, it goes football, basketball, then soccer. It's like soccer is kind of like in the middle of it all. And so I wanted to go to a school that was like, purely focused on soccer and that's what university of portland was and we were really good and it was fun how many years did you do there just one last year it was i went there for the first semester of my freshman year did winter break and then came back for like a month or two uh for the spring season and then we got sent home because of covid oh damn, okay. oh, damn. Yeah. and so i thought you were about to say tiktok so happened fast. so you <laughs> no, so yeah so that's actually funny because when they when they sent us home for like obviously because of COVID yeah. they sent us all home. I finished up my um, freshman year online, but when I was doing that and also like doing at home workouts and stuff for soccer, I was like training, going to, like doing school online, and that's when like TikTok kind of got introduced because I was like, I can't study all day. I can't go hang out with my friends because we're all right. locked up, and I can't train every minute of the day because my body yeah. can't take that so i'm like i'm just gonna make some videos like why not and so my sister had the app and she was like and i had the app as well i just didn't have a profile so i like kept up to date with all the trends and i was like you know what one night i just tried to do it and yeah. how long did it take to like blow up from like your first so i posted those that night and i woke up to like Fourteen thousand followers mm. or something like that oh that and felt like, good huh it was weird it, it, <laughs> felt, <laughs> yeah, it was weird wait what 
yeah, it was such a weird feeling because I'm like, wait, what? Because my sister had like 6,000 followers yeah. at the time. And she was like bragging to me because I had like 2,000 on Instagram. She was like, I have triple you on TikTok. And I'm like, Ooh, Ooh, so okay. it's competition. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, there you go. I don't, and she like posted a lot. Like, granted, she didn't really take it seriously. She like posted stuff with like friends, like when they were like drunk or something like yeah. that. And, like, so she's like, older. She's older, yeah. Okay. So I have two older sisters, but yeah. And she would like post and all that stuff. And I'm like, I don't think the rate, like, the algorithm's like the same. Like, I post like once a month on Instagram, like game day pics, like with the boys. Like, yeah. other than that, I don't really post. Like, I didn't do social media. And <laughs> she was like trying to brag. And I was like, what the heck? Oh, well, now she's probably bragging even more to her friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's drunk. Like, my Name. brothers yeah, know I that. Look <laughs> like, how many followers I have. I know he has more, but like, oh, I had more in the beginning. <laughs> I'm dropping. the reason. No, seriously, I made him I post. Made him. Yeah, yeah, I made him post. He's famous because of me. No, yeah. I did that. I did that. It was what's her, I told him what's to her do name? That Tatum. Tatum? Yeah. Your parents had named y'all like some good names. Those What's your other original. sister's name? Haley. Oh, Haley. well, they get a little less original yeah. with Haley. <laughs> that's, that's like popular yeah. kid names right there. Tatum, Noah. Yeah, they sound like characters out of a Gossip Girl like, <laughs> book. Yeah. yeah. Or The Hills. <laughs> yes. Like their name would just pop up. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like a nice fancy name. Okay, so you were captain of your soccer team growing up. I mean, typically, like I was on a few different teams. Like there was some where I wasn't, but... Most of the time, I most was. of the time, yeah. but you got a lot of that from like your dad was probably like the coach. You were yeah. more like kind of hands on. And like I said, training with my dad's like high school team, like I had to mature, yeah, like pretty quickly, uh, because like they wouldn't take it easy, and like I would tell him not to, and my dad would tell him like don't take it easy on him, like if I was. It's like eight years Keep old, up. and I See, was you're like, the, the "Slide tackle is yeah. get him!" <laughs> yeah, you're the Troy Bolton. You're like, guys, let's get our heads in the game. Yeah, <laughs> let's yeah. go out there. No, break out musical. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, he, he, he <laughs> wanted to TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Come on, it's the same yeah. story. I'm not ruining my dream. I'm ruining yours, Dad. <laughs> was, yeah. was it hard for you, like, because basically you like gave that up to come out here to like pursue? That happened quick, huh? Yeah. yeah. Was it like hard to Damn. like say goodbye to? I mean, obviously it's not done forever, but like, no, that was the hardest decision I've ever had to make because it was like one of those things where I it kind of just took off and I didn't ask for it. Like, obviously it felt good at the time. Like, yeah. you get like that like dopamine feeling, yeah. like serotonin. It's like, wow, this is sick. Like seeing all these likes and comments. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is cool. And then like the followers continue to like go up, and I was like. Okay, I don't. I'm gonna keep posting, but at the same time, like it's a good feeling, but I don't want it to distract me from soccer. Right. Yeah, and like I told my parents about it. And I'm like, I'm like gaining a lot on this app. Like it's kind of fun, and they were like, "That's cool." And my dad was like, "Don't let it distract you." And I'm like, Ooh, "Did you know yes, <laughs> that social media you could like have a career off social media when like you started seeing this?" Yeah, funny that you said it because when I was, at, I think, like not. I mean, 50k is still a lot of followers, but on yeah. TikTok, like. Like nowadays, it's not a lot on mm -hmm. on TikTok. Yeah. It's like compared to other apps. Compared yeah. to others, yeah. it's like 50k. Blake Gray actually reached out to me, and I live with him now. And so it's kind of funny because he reached out to me on Instagram and he DM me, and it was like, um, "Yo, I think you have a lot of potential in social media." And I was like, "Oh wow." I didn't know what that meant. I was like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> like, what can I do with I this? Potential. How much further can I go? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, what does that even mean? And he was, and like, I kind of just like responded like thanks bro and he had like three million on instagram i'm like oh my god he's oh, wow. famous and i was like and it's pretty wild yeah, yeah. 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 It was, headhunter yeah and i was like thank you like <laughs> it's really nice of you like i we Is this guy keep coming on to me <laughs> 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 i got potential i was like we should like keep in touch and he was like yeah man for sure and he's like you should come out and like meet the boy sometime i'm like yeah holy shit yeah. i'm about to have Boys. a brand new fucking friend group i know i'm like okay and i kind of just like I shrugged it off for a few months because I didn't even like think anything of it. I'm yeah. like, I'm like as cool as that is, like that's not that's right. not me. And then um yeah, so I kept posting and then like months went by and I think um uh, it was around so like I really started to po I posted like three to four times a day because I realized I I'm pretty like analytical and I would look into like the algorithm and I was like, if I post at these times, one of them's always like bound to blow up. And the more you post, the more it the pushes. Yeah. yeah. Make sure and to give me like, those numbers. It. Give me those, like, yeah, that right. analytics yeah, yeah. sheet Write that, that you, down, like, Devin. go by. Yeah, yeah, so I kind of just, like... You have to make the content, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> you say, yeah, fuck, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I kind of just, like, picked it out, and I was like, okay, this works, so I'm going to keep doing this. And I'm mm -hmm. like, what do people like the most? And so I kept doing that. And then, uh, so I started posting like that, like, in March, like, when I got sent home. Um, and then I think... It was around late May. My family went on a trip to like Newport Beach because my parents are both teachers. And so 
they obviously had summer plus the COVID right. thing. Like, so we were just like, let's go to Newport Beach. We got a little Airbnb and we kind of just like went there for like five days, just relaxed. And in those five days, like it was the craziest thing. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was like the Newport, like, I, I don't know what it was, but it was insane because in those five days, I grew 2.5 million followers in, in those five, five days, days huh? on TikTok. What yeah. did Blake Ray like put like what, 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 what did, did they do something with That's your page? No, so you're going out to family dinners and, and they're like, no, like, can you put your phone away? You're like, mom, look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't put my phone away. This is insane. Yeah. No, it's, I mean, it's insane for like just a normal kid what that like doesn't even really world? think about social media. I didn't media. get it. Like, yeah. I didn't get what was happening. I'm like, this is a big number. And like, yeah. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think of like, like, I didn't check my email. I had my email attached to my thing, but I didn't check my email. And I was yeah. like, one day it came to me. I was like, should I check it? So I checked and then I had emails from people being like hey no like we'll pay you this if you promote this and i'm like oh, shit. this ain't wait, real what? <laughs> and like i looked into it and i was like wait i can't because i'm an ncaa athlete yeah. you can't make money ba based oh, off the likeliness of your name. oh that's a rule shit. you can't make any money based off the likeliness of your name even if it's not no even involved. way and like i, I talked that's to crazy my dean about it as well like at my college because i'm like <laughs> i can make some pretty good money here and i'm like and is that allowed and he's like i'll talk to the ncaa talk to them he said you can't and i'm like oh my oh, god it's because they're jealous they, they, they're just they that dean should have been like can we collab yeah <laughs> <laughs> where are your jerseys he's put like, your jersey on <laughs> for all he's my like, videos he's like oh no <laughs> tag the scholarship <laughs> tag, 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 tag us. when i hit a mill i was like it was kind of a big deal because my sister was like we were kind of waiting from the computer for it to hit a mill i'm like mm -hmm. this is so cool and i was like but I didn't think anything of it, you know? She's drinking like, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just getting fucked up and just getting emotional. Sorry, I remember like, where you came from. No, no. I did this. <laughs> yeah. Your so, mom, so your, mo your mom is a teacher too, right? Yes. My mom teaches second grade and my dad is a law enforcement, world history, and the oh, soccer coach. Oh. Damn. Oh okay. my god. Now, Stud. My dad's we, a truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad is a truck driver? Yeah, let's it's about oh, that. Really? <laughs> oh my god, oh, Mariah. That's great. That's cool. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, thank you so much. I never know. I've never met anybody that was like that they were a fucking truck driver. Yeah. Did you go to the same school your mom taught at? Yes. Did you have your mom? I couldn't. Oh, no. you You're couldn't. So they weren't allowed. In yeah. second, yeah. but did you like get some things by, you know? Did like, you get my, to go like the uh the te like the teacher's lounge? Oh yeah, so like Ooh. before school, <laughs> <get this summer. laughs> yeah. Big baby, uh -huh. baby. before oh, yeah. school, I would go into the teachers' lounge and like I was cool with all the teachers and like every time I would get in trouble or like and I wasn't like a oh getting in trouble. Huh? I I wasn't like what were we a doing? bad kid at all. Yeah. I just laughed a lot in class and I was always kind of like I was pretty talkative, but I was a good student and like I kind of had to be because my parents obviously being teachers uh -huh. and like I like I'm sure they, they tattle quick out there, huh? Yeah, <laughs> <If> you, <laughs> no, the, the teachers like wanted. They were like, ooh, like no one did this today in class. And my mom was like, ooh, sorry. But and like they just I felt like they just wanted me to get in trouble. Yeah, when I, get well, home, I feel like I teachers like, wouldn't like the student if they knew that a teacher was like their yeah, they, they want they want to make it seem like, like their kid is doing yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Did your mom ever like say you can't call me mom, you have to call me Mrs. Beck? Even though I know she wasn't your teacher, but <laughs> it's like question. don't shout out that mom is. down the hallway or hi mom. <laughs> Like, were you like, hi, Mrs. Beck? <laughs> he was just embarrassed to see What's her. What's for he dinner, Mrs. Like, Beck? Yeah, they're like, you guys I had the same last name. Yeah, I think I would just avoid my mom. I think I just mom. tried to avoid her at school. But no, I think I just called her mom. I don't think I ever really... Would you guys eat together at lunch? Would you dap her no. up on, like, walking by in the hallway? <laughs> that was good, mom. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That was pretty cool. Yeah, no, it was cool. But in high school, it's different. Like, I could have had my dad, but I just didn't take his classes. I had... Um, well, that's another thing that I didn't really get into. But when I was 15, I moved away uh, to Utah. What? Good own. choice. We love yeah. Utah. <laughs> Utah, Utah. No, I just oh. love it there. Oh, it's yeah. so it's beautiful. Utah's, Utah's cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So when I, I, I was born and raised in Arizona, lived there. And then when I was 15, I got like recruited to uh, like a residency academy called Real Salt Lake. Oh, my God. Um, what is this? So do you know? Just making me realize I, have done I did nothing. nothing when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, you I'm thinking the same this is thing. So do you guys know what MLS is like the Major League Soccer? Yeah. It's like yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. MLS. So they have like youth teams that like I played for. So it's some of them have like residency academies. So there's a team in the MLS called Real Salt Lake, and they are based in Utah. And so they had like a, a youth academy team that I would play for. And I played for the U16 team and the U18 team. I played for the U16 team for two years. 
and then the U18 team for a year. So is this like your dad who's like, we're going to get you into this academy? No. A lot of people thought that because um, when, I was a, when I was a freshman in high school, like I played for my dad's high school team and he was my coach and uh, I like started and all that stuff. And so people always call me like when we would go on away trips, like people would be like coach's son. Like they would mm -hmm. like make chance about that mm -hmm. uh, because I mean that year also won player of the year and coach's like, son. They would chant that. Yeah. Coach's son. It was, I took it more as a con like every time I, we would go on a away trip and they would chant that I would take it as a compliment. Cause like they know who I am. Yeah. So I was like, why would I, but were they doing the it like as a, they're trying to get in his oh, head. They're trying to mock me. Oh, yeah, okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He probably would. Because it's not I, like he sucked. Like, he was really good. So I feel like they'd, leave be, him they'd be pissed. Wait, so, what position did you play real quick? Midfield. Okay. Center mid. The center midfielder is like the quarterback in soccer. Okay. Oh, I'd remember that. When I played soccer, I sucked. So I'd yeah. always see the middle field as it was the best players in the middle. What, was, was what, so what, always... like, what about the far like left side of the bench? Oh, yeah. That, that's what I played. Oh, okay. Bench I was, warmer? Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, thinking, where is that on the field? And I'm like, oh, okay. Bench. Nah, yeah. yeah. Water boy. I, I so you, like, you get the ball and then you kick it to the goal? Like. Matt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Wait. Uh, wait, I had a question. Um, but you're really skilled at soccer. Are you skilled at other sports? I don't know if my parents, like, they didn't force me or anything, but they, like, made sure. Or they just put me in every sport pretty much growing up. Like, I played pretty much everything. What are you god-awful at? Like, if someone was, like, having a little pickup game of something, you're like, I do not hand whatever it is to me. Like, I hate basketball. People think I'm great at basketball. Yeah, basketball's I the worst sport for me. I am terrible really? at it. Oh, no. yeah. I don't know. I'm everything to... just comes easy. No, no, no. It doesn't come easy. It doesn't come easy. I just play every sport a lot. Yeah, I, I, used, to, I used to be in, like, this... <laughs> I got recruited. Club. <laughs> What's the 500 club? I don't know. It was this thing in Arizona that I was on. And it was like Wait, a little golf club? Yeah. It nice. was a little golf club. It was super fun. I used to golf all the time with my uh, grandpa, my dad, and my cousin. Yeah. He's yeah, I saw you posted um, with uh, Blake. Yeah. Out we, there. We, we go sometimes. I but played with him at uh, Angeles like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. And then he did that, like, that sick like, trick. Right, right, right. And I saw right. that and I was like, whoa. But yeah. Golfing's definitely not my like strong suit, though. Like, I love it. But I get so frustrated because I'm so yeah. competitive, and it's like if I mess up, I'm like only mad at yourself. Yeah, I get mad at myself. Yeah, I'm usually good at like the golf cart, like when you yeah, drive yeah. the golf cart. You know, the, and the that's drinking. the best part. Yeah, yeah. drinking. Yeah. That's, that's the best part. Girl. Stop yeah. one anything. <laughs> I'm really good at that too. I'm, I'm good Palmer's. at taking <laughs> roller dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Nothing better though. No, I, I recently just had surgery, and so I could I can't play for like. Shoulder? You Two surgery? more weeks. I had it on. Uh, <laughs> do you know what gynecomastia is? Dude, I want to get my own. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I got it done like April 8th. How was it? It was super easy. It, it, the procedure was like an hour and a half. Okay. And yeah, I just went in. I, they put me under. I woke up and went home. And when you got vaccinated? <laughs> <laughs> you missed it. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know. They put me under. The broca, the broca. They put you under for a shot. Yeah. Imagine. Um, no, blackwell. he got the gyno surgery that I want to get. The nipple surgery. The fat nipple. The... Gyno, gynos. Gynecomastia. It sounded really funny. <laughs> I was trying to shorten Somebody's it. Somebody's a gynecologist that deals with yeah. your vagina. Yeah. But it's not the vagina, it's the nips. Wait, you got this stuff removed out of your nipples? Yeah, so it's just like built up breast tissue, right? right? Yeah. So when I was like 11 or 12, yeah, poofy I had nipples. It, yeah, I had yeah. it in both of them. Yeah. For like, this one was in for a couple months, and then this one stuck around until April 8th when I got it removed. But so you only did one side? Yeah, because this one went away. This one's perfectly fine. And then this one was like a big insecurity of mine. Like I didn't wear tight shirts or anything because it looked like oh I had one. Oh my God, that's so uh, Did you have to like Photoshop like the nipple? And <laughs> no. You used to funny do the, thing. the pull down, right? Yeah, I, I I know all the tricks. So I'd go. Uh, <laughs> did, did you, you, know, the, did you yes! know you could get them pierced? He did got his pierced to pierce cover it up. Because of uh, like my insecurity. <laughs> do you have it in both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> Did you fucking okay. judge me? Oh, you had it in both. Okay. You, no, you, no, no, you no. could have. You, you, you could have just done fucking tape. Said, so. tape. Okay. Just tape on your nips. Like I'm not wearing like fucking pasty. No tape. Tape Zane. like that. <laughs> Zane really loves. Cool. He, he, wants to, he wants me to have the EDM X's. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I did, so that, I did that a couple times. <laughs> Oh, oh, I did that oh. for a couple days in middle school because I, I like there was a point where I was, had really puffy nips, so I put like a, a tape over <laughs> here so you couldn't see the poofy nips. But I didn't have like it was I didn't have like 
gyno or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I didn't have gyno. <laughs> Y'all making guys. me like check. It did called, make me. Swear. It did make me feel insecure. It's so like one in three guys, right? Do you get to like keep whatever they took out of you? Like I don't. You put it in like formaldehyde. Like, you put yeah. it in your ass. Is it, oh, it's fat. Yeah, it, yeah it's breast you, tissue. It's breast tissue. Yeah. Adipose tissue. Add a boy. Wait, isn't that what it is? I don't know. Oh, I would ask them take that for put it I, in my I penis. Don't know. It's out of Did you get to see there, like <laughs> what came out? Yeah. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Show us. Literally. So Noah like Beck's saying, nipple guts. <laughs> Noah, Noah Beck shows us his boob. <laughs> oh my god, we have a title, everybody. Nice. <laughs> so when I would do like shirtless modeling shoots or like anything, me if, too. That's why I get insecure. <laughs> <laughs> or if I would do anything like Let's shirtless, nice. if I would do anything shirtless, or if I just go into like a pool party or anything like that. I would literally when anyone when everyone looked away, I would do it so smooth, just a quick little flick. And Yo, like, yeah. Oh my god. god. I do like a quick little twist. Yeah, like you can do a little twist. Like you can just like be talking to someone, and just right, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, and just like that is so funny. That, wait, what do you mean you twist your nipple to get it hard so people it's not that, like puffy? Have it, I swear, it's it so sounds. Crazy. I thought flicking it makes it bigger. Is this cosmetic? Makes it, no, hard, it makes it like, like hard, cold. and like, it kind of like it's instead of being like coney and like soft. Damn! It's, so all day you guys would just have to flick. The yeah, whole day. it kind of like snatches them. I went to I went to like a, a, a water park. So there's that. Like I want to see. We're seeing Noah's wow. nips. Wow. <laughs> Pass that shit here. No yeah. way, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Share it with the pa class. Share it with the class. Pass it around. Okay, so it's just for show and tell. If you're, if you're, today, and it's crazy because oh like my God, someone's gonna rob you. You got a hundred dollar bill in your phone case. <laughs> just if I don't have my wallet. Okay, Quick so you lose it's your so phone. crazy because like this doesn't look back. like much. Come on. Like the before picture, like this one right here. Yeah. So this is the before. It's just like a little lump. You can see it. It's just like a zoom little lump. in, enhance. <laughs> yeah, zoom enhance. in, enhance. Oh, that was okay. Looks, so it like yeah. that's a, it looks like a mountain. Yeah, <laughs> you're laying down, so it's definitely like sitting. But if you're standing up, it would like. If I was standing perk. up, it, it, it's like it's such a weird yeah thing to describe. It's just like there, and it's mm -hmm. just it just doesn't look symmetrical at all. And it's yeah. Just kinda like okay, perk. so then they took it out, and then this is it. Taken <gasps> out. Oh, they lay oh, it on shit. you. Oh, wow, that's... oh, wow. They it's, like yeah, and then they pull it oh, out. Oh, hold on, wait. Is that is that skin open right no. there? No, no, that's no, his no. nipple. No, this no. is the breast tissue pulled out. Oh, it was... I thought that was an open wound where they went in. Oh, no, it was just a little incision right under the nipple, and like the and you can't see the scar really. Like I'm Todd's, you, I'm still you would not know the, the bra. The oh, compression nice. bra. You have to wear no, that's home. that's a. That's a holster. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little, it's like a vest that can, I have to wear. That looks like a nice little out, outback steakhouse steak. Uh, <laughs> that is, what is that? It that looks like a like like I, I can ask for it. If you Cook that shit on. Can, can, afterwards, can I like ask like who you went to and like I'll get like the information yeah. or whatever? Yeah, for sure. So, so they're symmetrical now. Yeah, I'm all good. You should think about it, Heath. Can you still no, work? I, I He's been talking if, about it since If you do it, you'll look like Noah. I mean, I'll get I'll get some more fat removed too, baby. <laughs> Take the whole thing. Yeah, just keep going down. Just keep, going. <laughs> keep going down. I come out with lipo and a tummy tuck. <laughs> what the fuck? We move out to LA and we want to do all these surgeries, God, no. man. What's we your just... heritage? I'm German, Irish, American. Oh, all just what? Right. Yeah. What? Jesus. <laughs> Same. <laughs> just the way you said. You want oh. to sit next to him? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just what? <laughs> <laughs> when we first met, I gave you a task. Do you remember what this was? Okay, I've mission. never seen it's you a okay. day in my life. <laughs> we, we, met, we met at we a met, thing. We met. You were so nice, so great. You met. Um, I, I met uh, well, you and Zane. Yeah. Yes, you I talked some to him. Well, because I had a mission I gave you, and it's okay if you didn't fulfill it. Um, so. Jaden, what's Jaden? Imagine meeting Matt. I have a mission for you. <laughs> right? but You're gonna have I'm to do like... me a solid here. <laughs> I'm straightforward. Um, but the Jaden, Jaden Hostler lived in our old house. Uh, the one that we used oh, to yeah. live it was in with crazy Jason. Seeing their story. I almost saw the street name. Uh, oh yeah. Mm. We, lived, we lived in the same house. We moved a lot of our stuff out, but we also left some stuff. And I didn't realize I left um, one of those interchangeable Bowflex weights, yeah. like yeah. A, a, one of the dumbbells, because I only took one and I left the other. I text Addison Ray because I saw she was at the house one day making TikToks with the boys, and I go, "Hey." I sent her a picture of the weight and I go, do you see one of these around the house? And she's like, yeah, I do. And I'm like, awesome. Like a month or two go by. I don't go and pick it up. Oof, you see? I go to the house. I knock on the door and I'm like, hey, guys, I'm here to pick up my weight or whatever. And they're like, <laughs> uh, we don't know where it's at. But Jaden, who was living here, he moved out. And I think that the weight left with him. And then I told you, next time you're with Jaden, mm -hmm. does he oh, have my weight? Oh, yeah, he's not looking at it now. <laughs> he has it now. No, it's he has his. it now. No, no. 
just do you have it, it at morning? your house? <laughs> no, I don't. I just remember the mission. Like, I remember you telling me that. Ever since you told me that, I don't think I ever went back to the city house because they all moved out and they went to the house. Jaden so it could did. be right. Jayden. So but now he's moved out again. So I don't know where it is. Where's so the maybe you give you the address the and you do a little weight, fucking baby, steak on I'm not yeah. mad. I just want my weight back. Okay? You'll get it back. It, hey, it's, it's Wait, a slow hey, mission. Guys, oh, good. No, it's not. <laughs> but, uh, I like that one. Well, then people say for. that. I don't. I, I saw that. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about. Everyone's ignoring me. You know She's what I'm talking about, ones. though. Yeah, Jaden, I, I just want to know where it's at. Jaden, Jaden, if you're listening. Jaden, if you're listening. Where's this I texted Jaden. He was like, I don't have it, man. Better check the house. And all the boys at the house were like. I think Jaden has it. Matt, honestly, how much are these weights? Uh, they're not that much. Probably like 50 bucks. It's just principal. No, each one's like probably like $200. Matt, I'm going to be honest. Get that shit back. Call them up. Yeah. <laughs> oh I'm going to be God. honest with you, Matt. It was your fault that you left it there. True. Yeah, True. And you had two months True. to go get I it. I accept the humility Whatever's of me being house. lazy and expecting that he had it, but I'm just being curious where it's yeah. at. Because you know when you buy a house and then you find something like hidden under, it's yours because you you, you finders, bought it. It's your property keepers. now. keepers. My bike is still at that house. I've been meaning to go. Matt, by. come on, care. bud. Let them have it. <laughs> They don't want it. <laughs> Did they leave it there? Was it a good bike? It was oh. a Huffy. It was, it was like a, a Huffy? It was like a, probably like a Matt. $360 like fixie. How could you leave a bike there? Because I don't know. The moving truck and all these people were there. I love how we took that sex stall thing but left everything important in the back of the house. It wasn't our sex stall. It was just a doll that we used for a bit. But. No judge. So the mission's still on. I okay. hope you fulfill it. He's not going to I bet it's with your fly uh, zapper somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Oh, my fly zapper got stolen from my house like a they few months ago. They were sleeping and somebody broke in, took the fly zapper and left. And my and nose, and my, and my the keys. Only thing. Yeah, just the zapper and my keys. He, the, his car key. Because they were trying to you steal my car, car, but Todd was parked behind me. so he, It's a whole thing. Oh, they yeah. couldn't even get out. Couldn't yeah. even get out. If they, and, like, and, and there's a video of him of walking to into out? the house. Yeah, that's hilarious. pretty crazy. While they were sleeping. Wild. For, Isn't that wild? For a long time, we thought it was someone like we knew. We thought it was a sway boy. Oh really? Yeah, could have been Jaden. We did. Hold on, we did. Oh, we thought it was a sway oh, boy. Could have been yeah. Jaden. So we did. We, he we, was we, trying we were... to get the other half of your weight. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 very oh, good. Man. What color are your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, because when you're looking at so... when you're looking at your eyes, like. I see brown, but when yeah. you look at him, it's like green. green. Do you see that? I see it, Matt. <laughs> and then when you turn around, it's blue. <laughs> what color? No, I have like they're green hazel. Wow, I, I have, have hazel. Why hazel. does mine look nice? <laughs> no, you don't have hazel. Maybe eyes you got then. hazelnut <laughs> <laughs> spread. And we also have hazelnut Cremota coffee. If you <laughs> yeah, want to swipe up. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Mariah. We really appreciate You're it. Good plug. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. No, ask it. Uh, so if you bought a boat, would you name it like the Ark? <laughs> Very good. good. Yeah. Huh. Like Noah's Ark? Yeah. It's pretty good. It. If you bought a yacht. I mean, buying a yacht is definitely like on a bucket list for sure. But oh. that's way in. Well, he, you were saying he would call it the Ark? He would. I well, if it's no, it'd you just would be have Ark. Noah's Ark. Would like, it just be Ark? Yeah, just yeah, be just Ark. Ark. Yeah. Just oh Ark. my God, that's no. Noah's Ark. No, I Regular. like the Ark. Why the ark? Because it's like, hey, let's go, let's go on the ark today. Like, it's kind of well, hard. you would okay. still say let's hard. go on the ark, but call it ark, so that it's Noah's ark. But like, boat names are usually like, it's like, oh, the Anne Marie, the Jasmine. Like the, no, they're always punny. Yeah, they are. Punny. Well, it is a pun like, off I his like name. I like big boats. But yeah. that's why he would call it. Who would Ark. name their? I've seen it. I've seen it on. I Google. like big that's boats. Who has that much money and that lack of? What's the name? <laughs> lack of like creativity. I like big boats. Growing up, I used to go to like the lake and be like wakeboarding. Yeah, like that. Nice. Kind of, of stuff. course, he can. you had a life. No, I went. My fr I, I never had a boat. My friends had the boats, and we would go to Lake Pleasant, and it, we would just like wakeboard tube, all that fun stuff. So. That's fun though. Like when you know people who have it. Oh, it's yeah. So you can just go. You don't have to take care of it or anything. It's yeah. The best. You just don't show up and leave. Yeah. Yeah, I Taking love care that. Of a boat is Which is why we awful. need you to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we brought you here the today. Ark. The ark. Yeah. And we'll be there Sign for the ribbon papers. ceremony. <laughs> You're our friend that has a boat. You know, we need one. None of us, none of our friends have boats. So. Yeah, hopefully soon. Yeah. Also, I have a question too. Mm -hmm. You drive a Nissan? Yeah. You still drive Pretty a Nissan? Maxima? Yeah, Maxima, yeah. Nissan's Hell a really yeah. good car. Really? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Those things will run forever. Yeah. yeah. It's at like 43. 
thousand miles. There you go. Damn. Yeah. Still young. Still young. She got some years left. But I, I, I admire. It's like you, how humble it is to drive like a Nissan. You're with the, you know, all these like. <laughs> you literally just called this car shitty. I love car. how humble that is of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I hear it. Hold enough. on a second. The, 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 the hold, crew you the, hold on a second. The crew you run with, they're like, you yeah, know, that's driving true. these crazy. They drive like fucking G wagons and very, Lamborghinis. Very, you know, they're he's very flashy. doing well. Yeah. I'm not saying you need it. I just think that's badass. There are times where I'm like, you know, you drive and you see a billboard and you're like, that's how much a Prius is a month. Huh. Must be nice. <laughs> but I wouldn't do it because my friends would be like, why are you driving a fucking <laughs> Prius, bro? So I'm asking, I'm like, that's awesome. You like drive an Nissan. Yeah. I've never been like too flashy when it comes. And I've never been like a huge car guy. Like I just want something to get me, me from here to there. And it's like, ooh, not what Heath wants to hear. <laughs> You guys were hitting it off too. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to give me something that goes from here to there. And it's like, I definitely admire nice cars, but I just don't need one right now. You know, right, right. it's like one of those things. Very I, good. See, I admire that. And that's why I'm <laughs> asking the yeah. question. Cause it's, you know, you get like envious about, Quality I sell all have. my cars tomorrow. No. <laughs> Just to be, you get the surgery, the you sell your car. The sold his Lamborghini. <laughs> no, I got a Nissan Altima. Right. I got a I Nissan know. Altima. <laughs> no, my friend, like you're, all the sway yeah. boys give me okay. enough. But, like, I got you. They always give me shit for it. And I'm like, you're good and, like I don't know. Yeah, what, what do you want from me? Like, I'm not going to well, waste saving my money, money on that so. right now. It's right. Like, I got my mom a car. So like that was. Amazing. That's sick. Yeah. That was, what that did that you get her? A Lamborghini. I got a Tesla, but like, oh, oh that's yeah. sick. It, it was so cool. That was the coolest thing I've done. You want to be practical. Yeah. yeah. And like, she, she deserves a nice car more than I do, you know? So it's Damn. Like, Damn. <laughs> Coach's son did, <laughs> didn't even give him a car. Was like, was that's my, messed up. It was my dad's birthday, like, a week later, and I was like, don't expect anything like that. Don't oh, another no. Tesla. But uh, Some soccer balls. <laughs> yeah, right. A bag of balls. <laughs> a sleeve of the <laughs> yellow cones. <laughs> thing. <laughs> but they're, they're, they're like really good cones, though. They're like expensive cones. Well, I, got, I, got him a, yeah. I got him a dog. And like, they've wanted a oh dog for Better than a Tesla. I grew, we grew up and we had cats. And like, yes. that was because, yeah. We grew up and we had cats. And that was because, it wasn't, wasn't really because of anything. We traveled a lot because of soccer. And just like, we loved to go like, we just love to travel and like that's mm. what we spent most of our money on. So we had cats and they're pretty easy to take care yeah. of. We just yeah. they take care of feed themselves. Them. Exactly. Yeah. Did you get them a golden? Yeah. So I, I got my dad <laughs> oh, a good choice. Like a golden retriever puppy. Um, mm. They're so it. pure, so, so just cute. angelic. What do you name yeah. his dogs? Scout. Oh. Yeah. He's From adorable. To Kill a Mockingbird. I don't know if that's. Uh, just reference. say yes. Just say yes. Yeah. Is yeah, that yeah, the name of the dog there? It's the name of the little girl in To Kill a Mockingbird. I taught a girl named Scout. Really? That Bethany named her from To Kill a Mockingbird. Scout's a great name, actually. Harper Lee. Atticus Finch. Addison anybody? Ray? We don't Moving read books, anybody? Matt. <laughs> and no books Matt on this Mueller to say that he's Mueller. read that book. <laughs> what we all know he reads books. Uh, it's oh, my he's brand. Yeah. Zane <laughs> just heard tequila. My brand. Zane's <laughs> <It's my, laughs> yeah, like tequila mockingbird. <laughs> <laughs> if you say tequila mockingbird, <laughs> that would be a great name for your like... Tequila already, Mockingbird. Already tequila already Mockingbird. All right, well, take it out. Take it out. I got it. I got it. Can you cut it out? Hey, sharks. No. Okay. Do you miss... Um, the college experience. Do you have like FOMO about it? Because like obviously life's pop and life's great. You are on the path that the stars aligned you to be on. You know it's yeah. great. But are you ever like, damn, it would be kind of cool like to be in the college experience away from this all. Honestly, I just miss soccer more than anything. Like if I were to look back and be like, like what if I didn't do this? I like I would still obviously be playing soccer and like that was the main thing. Mm -hmm. And school was always fun, but I. And, like, I was a good student, but I didn't really... You're not a classroom guy. No, no. And I wasn't... I, I don't really party. Like, I'm not huge into partying. Um, I've, like... <laughs> I, I, I might drink <laughs> all of these, like... <laughs> no, that's no, not I'll good. Go, I'll go to a party. I've just never... I've never drank or anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, you're, you're a good kid. Yeah. You've never, like... Had any alcohol? Never. He's Damn, a chain smoker, smoker though. Kid, never suck smoke. a cigarette. He's <laughs> <laughs> reeked the cigarettes when he walks in. That's a lie. No. That's a lie to clear it up. He's the 19. first time I want something to drink for. You know, like I yeah. want to like do something that I don't know, like like Celebrate? a wedding day would be kind of a cool thing to first have a drink on. But you never drink on your wedding. Wow, day. He's so pure. Fuck. But like, <laughs> I heard that's like the so worst pure. thing to if do. You, really? If you yeah. did drink, what kind of drink do you think you would like to drink? Oh, that's a good question. I just see myself sipping like hmm. like a classy like wine. Yeah, yeah. Mm. nice wine. So it sounds like you've had wine before. Should no, be I've never. Not. But I see like LeBron posting pictures of him drinking wine. I'm like, that's kind of that's cool. me. That's <laughs> cool. Boss yeah. move. Yeah. 
It tastes hmm. like grape juice. Really? Mm -hmm. With without the flavor, yeah. really <laughs> better. Spi spicy <laughs> grape juice. Without the grape. <laughs> yeah. It's grape juice without the grape. So you're doing a show right now with Sway House, right? Yes. And Hype House just came out with a show too. Mm -hmm. And are you both? Is it like? Is it the same style like reality TV show where they're like kind of following their life, following your life? I think so. Honestly, I I've been over a couple times for for the Hype House reality show because I'm friends with them as well. Yeah. And so like, I, I'll go over and it's like the same thing and. I don't, it's just like I think we were all talking about it like a year ago or like yeah. when I first came we were like we should do a reality show like this would do so well um, so I mean it's just kind of funny how we're all doing it at the, like the same time because they just announced theirs on Netflix and we're doing ours on like IGTV and like that kind of stuff oh okay um, yeah so um, and then obviously like the D'Amelios are doing like a like a docu-series as well so everyone's just kind of like filming right now and everyone's like super busy but well, we have a podcast, so. Yeah, yeah, so, you guys so, have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so don't take that. Is, yeah. it, is it like a structured thing, or is it just kind of like whatever you guys are doing, they're just there filming? They just catch it. It's People think like, oh, Sway Boys, they're, they're probably so fun to follow around with the camera, but like most of them, we're not that entertaining, to be fair. Like we kind of just, we're just normal kids, and like, yeah. I feel like we'll, you guys, like every time I like see stories, it's like working out at that gym. We work out a lot. Like, like you guys are so normal. Yeah, we're so normal yeah. and it's like they yes yeah, so a lot of it is structured like they'll try to they'll be like okay today we're gonna go do this and we're just like okay what? you should start a soccer league for like underprivileged kids that'd, that'd be really be cool. cool that would be really yeah. cool and then you should do a series of you going back to school called beck to school there's a lot of things you can do with beck yeah, yeah. I, I love mixing the beck name like beck seat driver yeah. like is your that. favorite band beck? Seat driver who? Be I know who Beck is, Beck? but I forget. My I forget what summer they girl. Hey. Don't they sing like Glycerin? <laughs> Beck's a guy. Yeah. He's a really great musician. He had an amazing house that was for sale in Pasadena. I wanted to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Uh, I, I, what else bro, you got? I just I can't really believe cool how I was thing, able to connect you be like with everything to Noah what Beck saying. and Kate Beck and Sale, like Beck and Beck and Sale, and you guys like. Or Beck to the future. Oh. oh, he's probably heard it all. Yeah, yeah. we are Wait, not so original. We're can not we play, good Can we play the game we made? Oh yeah, we have a game for you. you Want to play it? Let's play it. Guessing the bench press? No, no. We, no. <laughs> we're gonna give you a weight. Tell us how much of a bar you weigh. <laughs> no, we're gonna play yes or Noah. Woo! Okay. All oh, right. Yes so or Noah. We created a list of famous Noahs and or any Noah. You can answer much. them like yes, like oh I like them or like. No, I'm no, yeah. I don't. I don't know them, or you don't care for them. Just yeah, yes or no. Very well, fun. Yes or Noah. Okay. Very cool. Fun. All right. Cool. Perfect. All right. So you have a list. I don't have a list. I, don't I thought have you list. wrote them down. <laughs> Hold on. Right. I thought you were writing it down. It's, it's short. It's short. Nobody's like writing five. it down. It's five. It's stupid. It's a silly game. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right. You ready? First one. Noah Beck. TikToks are. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Humble. Yeah. <laughs> Noah, <laughs> Noah Schnack. Con conceited. Wait, wait, say that one more time. Wait, wait what am I saying yes to? Just like if they're a good guy or like. Just yes yeah. or no. Yeah. Whatever. Like, it's like you just <laughs> am I supposed to say no to me? It's, a, it's a, like an Whatever approval. Whatever you want it's it like, to mean. It's okay. smash, smash or pass. Sure. <laughs> Noah Schnapp. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good. You would smash Noah. You heard it here first. Interesting. You heard it here first. I like first. him on Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> Noah Centennial. Yes. It's a good dude. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, so yeah, I really like no, him. He's like he's been like a mentor to me in LA. Yeah, yeah. No, I really like no. He's no Cincinnati. You have to say the last name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Noah Jupe. You may not know him. I don't know. I don't know him. He was in. A I don't know. I don't know. Do you know who Noah Jupe is? Yes, he was in A Quiet Place. Honey Boy. Honey Boy. He played oh. young Shia LaBeouf. He's in oh. Wonder with uh, Jacob Tremblay. Got it. So no. Hmm. <laughs> Come after Big him. Yikes. No. <laughs> Bring him out. Drama. <laughs> Noah Cyrus. Yes. Do you know who Noah Cyrus is? Do you is? know her? I know. I know of her. I know of her. But I, I, I don't, I've never met her. Never met her. But I don't want to say like Noah because like. Did you meet Noah Snap? No. But you we, said yes to him real but quick. But we do Snapchat. Like he okay. Snapchats you Snapchat? Cool. Oh, so y'all know, Snapchat. know each other. <laughs> we Snapchat. Noah Bombach. Who's that? He's a, a director. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Shit. Oh, well, I hope he knows you one day. Hopefully. Is he a good director? He was what just about he, to cast you in a movie, oh, but yeah. not anymore. Uh, if you would have mm. said yes to that, he, he would have been, <laughs> been, been Francis Ha, the squid and the whale. Francis. That doesn't my, give us anything. Oh, wait, I have a question. Uh, no, what about for, Noah's Ark? What do you think of him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Noah 
Paul from the Bible. Yes, great guy. Yeah. Yes. King. Very good. good. What a great game of yes you or no. You should get two Noah. cats and two dogs and like two snakes or something. Be pretty on brand. I think that'd be funny. The yacht, you should put like murals of animals on it when you make that your funny. yacht. That would be a little oh, tacky. Oh yeah, get a wooden yacht. It wouldn't be tacky. It would be funny <laughs> because Sinks. like this part. Oh my we would all dress up and it would be a date. You have to bring a date and you dress up as oh, the that's animal. Cute. And that's you have the cute. Noah's Ark Whoa. party. Oh, cool. When's your birthday? May 4th. When's your 21st oh, birthday? That's your 20th? Well, yes. May, For your 20th may birthday, the fourth Noah's be with Ark. You? May the 4th be with you. Noah, that's Star not a bad Day. idea. Noah's Ark, 21st birthday. You no, 20th. Oh, 20th. He'll be 20. Well, let's I wait feel like that's the, perfect. I'll be there for the 21st. 21st. Because Noah's Ark drink. was 20 years ago. Did you imagine? <laughs> it's, it's about 20 years ago. That shit. Are we invited? <laughs> of course. Well, now Thank we are. God, you can't yeah. force yourself. Oh, okay. Are we invited? Yeah. Sure. Any other Noahs? Um, no. I don't know. He took it off the I screen, so I can't see it anymore. Okay. Oh, oh that, so perfect. you're getting into acting. You said Noah Centennial is basically becoming your mentor. Um, is acting, is it tough? Is it hard? Like, what's your, what are you running into, like, being your biggest struggle with venturing into acting? Uh, with acting, like, when I first came to L.A., obviously, I had no idea when I, what I really wanted to do. I was kind of just jumping into TikTok and, like, potentially, like, knowing I would get into YouTube and stuff like that. But I didn't really know what I wanted to like really branch out into, whether it be acting, singing, whatever it was. Like you have to like expand eventually. And I looked at acting, and I love movies. Like I love movies. Out, my family would always go to movie theater. Like it was a big thing. Um, and I think when I first started going to like acting class, the biggest thing for me was, especially since it's it was my first time. Like I wasn't born into like Hollywood or anything like that. Uh, I was a bit like timid and like you have to be super vulnerable and yeah. oh, like yeah. you have to like really just dive into it and like not because at the end of the day everyone else is acting as well so like you can't be afraid of looking stupid and yeah. that was my biggest thing um and the more i started to go the more comfortable i got and yeah i th i think i've improved a ton but i've kind of put that off to the side for now because of the reality show and like that's like four days a week that is completely filming of that. And then the other three days I have to film for YouTube. And so it's like, I'm pretty busy right now with that being with that going on. But this is the last week of our uh, reality show. So when things open, when my schedule opens a bit more back up, I think I'm going to jump right back into that because it is something I want to do. And like, I don't know if it's what I want to do long term because I haven't really experienced it like life on set yet. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know if that's something I'll fall in love with, but I, you never know until you try. So I want to like dip my feet in it a bit and see how it is. But you could play a soccer player. Oh, that'd be idea. Like she's all that, but he's all that. Yeah, and like that was the thing with. Oh no no sorry no, wait no well, wrong movie. She's the man. She's the man. Yeah. He's yeah. The you man. could be the Channing Tatum. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Cool. Or he's the woman. But that's perfect. the thing with uh, Noah. Uh, with Noah, for example, he like he was able to help me, and like he like we we work at the same gym, and that's how we kind of like cross paths and then we started talking and he like helps me with like self tapes and stuff like that he'd like send me before you send it to them and like he works with me through stuff which is super that's nice oh, that's yeah, really nice he's, cool. yeah. he's Damn, like really cool. natural and sincere with like his acting yeah like, he's really impressive yeah he's a really good guy and like i don't know i really love like the whole uh like the netflix rom-coms like i love those type of movies and like i that'd be a pretty cool role to play. And like, I would love to play a role like that. Like roles that he plays, for example, like, yeah, mm -hmm. tall oh, he's boys, like the new yeah. age brat pack. Exactly. You're like part of it, man. Yeah. Wait, which Who's is your so cool. Acting inspiration. I love Mark Wahlberg. I yeah. love oh, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. I can see like a Ryan Reynolds, like type of character. Love Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Like Deadpool. That'd be pretty Deadpool. sweet. Deadpool. That'd be dope. Yeah. yeah. That'd be sick. I have a lot of acting, like men, like it, it, people that I look up to in that space, but, yeah, it is one of those things where I don't, because that is a commitment. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. acting is commitment, and mm -hmm. like if you're shooting, I shoots can go from like three to six months, and that's like a long time, obviously. Like so. every single day, like every just day. consumes. I saw a little yeah. bit of it on. Uh, Jason did like some skit, and I saw you in that. Oh you did, yeah, you did pretty well. I was Bozo's, impressed. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was fun. I love that kind of stuff. Like, do you skits. take classes? It's just me one on one with uh, my acting coach. And obviously, I've gotten comfortable in front of her, but do one on one. Yeah, I used to go twice a week uh, for pretty consistently. For she like, hard on you. Yeah, she's good. Like she always makes me like redo and like she wants me to get it perfect. That's what. Stuff. That's tough when you start have to start making choices as an actor. You have to mm -hmm. start learning to give it different ways. Yeah, we get comfortable. We kind of sight read like 
oh, well, that's just how the line is. And you're like, no, come yeah. at it with this whole tactic. Mm-hmm. Come yeah. at it with that. She's like, really good. Making you dynamic is like the key. Yeah, yeah one-on-one classes, acting classes are good. Like, imagine being in a room of fucking 50 people. It's the worst. Oh. Well, sounds, didn't you do that like at nightmare. improv? Yeah, so when I you did first like came out uh, here? improv school and then... Wow. In, well, you have to be in a class You of killed people. it on improv. Yeah, you're really good. That night, you were incredible. Thank you. You made really good choices. <laughs> right. Hot stuff. Um, but yeah, so like I did acting like in middle school, high school. Really? And then uh, when I moved out here, I was taking... I actually did it in college too. That's um, so cool. I had classes. You did acting and classes acting in college? <laughs> yeah, at oh. FAU. Oh, FAU. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to get into movies and stuff? I would love to. I've just like auditioned for stuff and I freeze. Really? Like, Audition. I just, so scary. Auditions is a whole different grind. I, I would rather a friend of mine who's making a project yeah. come to me and just right, being like, exactly. I, when I wrote this, I had yeah. you in mind and I want you in this. That's ideal. And that's how it happens. Like yeah. I'm always watching like actors on TV and I'm reading their Wikipedia page because I love reading like how did that person get, get to where they are. Right. And a lot of times, like, some actors are just true people who went out on, on auditions and got it. But sometimes it was, like, they knew this person and that person wrote for them because they believed in them. And yeah. It and, just like, happened. played to their strengths. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. Go. I can only act if I'm doing an accent. That's it. What what accent? No, no like, Staten Island Mom oh. is the only yeah, way yeah, it, it, I, it, I like can get so- right into character. Yeah. But like my being myself, hell no. It's easy. It's easier to remember lines when you're like being not yourself. I or can being improv out of if I'm doing that accent. I can improv really well. Yeah. But I can't talk like a normal human being. You should audition for those roles in like movies I and would, shows. I would die. It's I, a tough life. You're really good. Doing like the uh, the auditioning though. Hi. Yeah. My name's Noah Beck, and I'm auditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good that at auditions? That wasn't my impression of Noah Beck. <laughs> Since it's like through like Zoom and stuff, I've had to do like live readings with like the casting director or oh. like self tapes. You nail it, but your connection's wow. off. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Can you imagine? <laughs> like, you, you cut off right there. Can you go back? He gets so suck. excited. We're going to need you to start from the yeah. beginning. We didn't hear any of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like <laughs> mid tears. That's no. funny. That's oh funny. My gosh. Yeah, no, that, That's fr- that is insane. If do actors yeah. can't actually cry, do they give them like. Like, if uh, you're a really good actor, but you just can't cry. They put a uh, uh, vapor rub, like, right below their eyes. So it burns. Oh, okay. That's like a slight burn. But usually, if you're a good actor, you should be able to touch into your... Really? Mm-hmm. Can you fra- fake cry? I don't think so. It looks like you're about not to, right you're now, about to try. We got it. We'll wait. We got 15, 20 minutes. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, can you do any impressions of other guys in the Sway House? <laughs> I don't even know. Blake's very just, like... He's Blake's got a really deep voice. Yeah, Blake's very like, like <laughs> he's from Texas and he's just very laid back. Oh, like, he's from Texas. What part? Here we go. Don't uh, don't no, say no, Texas. Sorry. Seriously, don't tell him. Oh don't my god, shit. don't say Texas. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, I should have a sign on the door that says You're from Texas. No, Texas pick an, pick no, another state. Beyond this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave your boots at the door. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Good, good. <laughs> you know, you didn't even That's... finish your story because remember, you're at the dinner table and you saw 2.5 million followers, but you never, like, we never finished. <laughs> yeah. the... He's... <laughs> I don't think he finished any of his stories. We, <laughs> we just we keep cutting so you rude. off. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, so going back to that. So, <laughs> yeah, at the end of that week, I grew like 2.5 million. And I was literally posting the same exact things that I was doing, like, at home. Like, I would do some dances here and there. I would do some lip syncing, but just like a different scenery because I was doing it in my bathroom or my room wherever okay. it was at home um but yeah I, I would do some outside and like there was one video and i had yeah like around like one million at the time and literally there was this one video that got like 27 million views and i was like what what did, I, what did i do differently and it was literally just me doing like a dance outside and like a cool like beachy background i'm like like and it wasn't even a beachy background it was just like you can tell i was by the beach it was very just like there were surfboards near me, but right. it was literally like the backyard. It was of the, the vibe. It was a vibe. People and, love it. Yeah, and people loved people it, I love guess. It. And He's in LA. He made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so after I was like, people started to see that I was like gaining super fast, um, Blake reached back out and was like, yo, I see that you're in California. Uh, on your way back to Arizona, you should stop by and like actually meet the boys. And I was like, sure, I'll ask. I was like, mm, like maybe. Like this Mom, can be- I meet the boys? <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> Mom, can I like on the way back to Arizona? Can you just like drop me off in LA? But like obviously I worded it differently, like yeah. a more convincing way. I was like, this could be something cool. Like I don't know. Like I'm just kind of like trying to right. explore my options here. And she was like, Yeah, I guess. Like, and I had to like obviously sell her on it. And I wasn't. She wasn't just gonna let me hang out with those. But 
Oh, my mom would be in that house with me. Yeah. I have to <laughs> well, our parents yeah. yeah. there. Yeah, no matter how, I could be 26 years old and she'd be like, I have to meet their parents first. <laughs> God. So, yeah, so I drove down <laughs> to LA and she dropped me off and then, yeah, I just met all the Sway boys and they're like, yo, what's up? And just talking to all of them. And uh, I ended up staying like, I, I plan on staying just for the weekend. So for the two days and I was going to fly home. Um, and then I was like, can I just stay like, uh, like a few more days? And so I ended up staying like a total of like five days Damn. and yeah. And then by the end of that time hanging out with them, uh, Bryce pulled me aside and was like, yo, look, uh, I know you're doing soccer and everything right now, but if you ever change your mind, like there's a spot, like if you want to, but I'm sure join. he said it in a convincing way. He's like, you don't need soccer. Yeah. It was very you like, got <laughs> us now. It's like, Yo, you're bro. bigger than the ball, dude. Yeah, <laughs> man, This is the real field. The real bro, game you're going to be life. bigger than me. It, I would quit soccer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he really you. sold me though. He was like, well, look at the life we're living. Like, I was like, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Look at the life. Look at us. We're rich. Success. 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 Yeah. So I was like, yeah, it's pretty I would have loved to be a fly on the wall with that conversation. Oh, it, it was. Yeah, because he literally pulled me aside and he was, uh, it was him and like one of like the managers uh, and they were just like trying to like sell me on it. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I got to go home and think about it, obviously. But in the back of my head, I'm like, this is pretty sick. Like I would not mm -hmm. mind doing this. But at the same time, soccer was my life i wanted to do one thing in life and that was to go pro in soccer and so like this was a huge decision i went back home thought about it talked to my parents what did they think so supportive like my parents oh, nice. were so That's supportive good. yeah like my my dad was obviously like sad that he wasn't gonna see me play again but that being said he was like yeah this is too big of an opportunity to pass up because mm -hmm. if i were to if i were to do tiktok and i was gaining in followers and i just said like I'm going to move out to LA just to like potentially collab with some people. Then it's like, eh, it's a, it's a toss up. But if you, if you come to LA with the, like a for sure spot and like sway, it's like, you're bound to continue to grow. Do well, right? yeah, yeah. You're bound to continue to grow. So I was like, this is a real opportunity. And like, they don't really sway's not very like open arm, you know, like they don't really just accept anyone. And, and they like, don't recruit. Are y'all still recruiting? No, like no. we don't really like recruit, and like that's. Oh, I like, didn't know it was like that. That what? was the weirdest These, thing. Like, like groups, house. I don't yeah. want to say houses. I guess I thought it was, it was just friends. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is. Yeah, and like when I when I came out, I just wanted to meet them and hang out, and like we ended up hanging out, and they were like, "Look, like we all clicked. So if you want to hang out." forever forever like just <laughs> come move in and i was like forever wow. okay it's like a little frat yeah it really was, was there like an initiation did you did no, you get nothing haze like that. nothing like that they all yeah. came out in robes oh, <laughs> oh. bryce makes you drink no. his dip spit <laughs> <laughs> is that is that one of the hazes that you've heard yeah. of yeah yeah nice. that's crazy but yeah it, it was really cool and i was like i had to come well i didn't really have to convince my parents they just they while I was in LA, I came back and they were very like involved before I even came to them about anything. They were like, so what's this house? And like, they were kind of trying to learn about everything. That's and good. like, yeah, they were, well, because they, I, I was texting them throughout the time and I was like, I'm having a lot of fun. Like, this is really cool. And like, and so they kind of just started to try to like educate themselves on like what it was. Cause obviously if it's your kid, confusing. if your kids tell you, I, He's, you know, I'm gonna move to LA at 18. It doesn't make hang, sense to them. Just go live with the boys. Like then your mom is like, yeah, so I no. made a TikTok. How do you post a TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there a mom house? Can out we there? make a TikTok together? Yeah, is there like a mom content? Like that no. being a career doesn't make sense to them. Not at all. Yeah. And it didn't make sense to me either. I was like, yeah. that's there's all no starts. way. And then it was just too good to be true. And like emails kept coming in. I was like, what is happening? And then like, yeah, they basically just like sweetened the deal. And they were like, the manager was like, look, I can do this to you. And like. Excuse so, me? Yeah. No, that's not enough. <laughs> I can sweeten this. the deal. If you sign this, I can do this <laughs> to you. I can do <laughs> things to you. I can do this for you. <laughs> oh my God, it is Hollywood. <laughs> I heard about this. Gives you a pen and paper and he's just like, oh, you need to do this. <laughs> like, I can do this for you. So like, uh, yeah, it was pretty. And then the coach with, I mean, the, the call with my coach, my college coach was uh, interesting. <laughs> I was like, oh. it was bad. Like, he was pissed. Remember when You're you wouldn't let me make hey, any money? <laughs> sorry. Listen. 
Oh, we were in Euphoria, dude. Oh, my God. That's crazy. I'm not coming back. <laughs> yeah, not coming back. I'm sorry. I feel no. like this happened at the right time, though, because you're still young Sucks and right you could go yeah. back to soccer. Yeah, 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 yeah like, exactly. Still do soccer Five while you're doing yeah. this. Like, yeah. you could, if you're yeah. still training. Yeah, like I stand, like that's my, th I try to stay in shape, obviously, and like I just, I, like I play basketball all the time. Like I love just like staying in shape because you never know when it, something could happen. But like more than that, it, it was kind of one of those things where I don't know. It, like when I went home for those, like I went home for two days and then I went home talked to my parents and they're like look if you want to do this you can and i was like all right well they want me to come back like now and so i like it was literally like Bags a two-day turnaround it was that's, like a two how, that's turnaround. how it works that's how it you is. didn't even unpack when you got <laughs> back you're just it's like probably mom shit my shit out yeah <laughs> no. is there is there like a men's league you could join out here to like keep playing i'm sure there's something but yeah one of my best friends is on lafc which is an mls team here and then my other one my other like best friend growing up is on ucla and so like we can use their field and like kick it around whenever. And like, that's a super like fortunate thing. And just having like those hometown friends that you can just You'll go back to it. Yeah. Cause it's a passion. It wasn't like yeah, a hobby. Right. And, and like, it came at such a good time. Like you said, because COVID we never like, no one knew how long COVID was going to last or how, yeah. mm -hmm. and it all was just so new where people were like, well, if you go to LA, like what if your soccer season comes back and like, you're going to really miss it. But it ended up being, the fall semester got canceled. Half of the spring semester got canceled. And so yeah. if Damn. I would have chose soccer over coming to you LA, been I would have been. Right? In, you wouldn't have been doing anything. No, I would have been, been, been like, coach, the, yeah. there's going to be a pandemic. You don't, you're, you don't know this right now, yeah. but I, I, there's going to be a pandemic coming. Yeah. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something. <laughs> yeah. So. That's so no. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a gut feeling. It, was, it really was like a gut feeling. I was like, I can go back to soccer whenever. Granted, I can't go back to college because I'm making money now. And so I, I can't go back because of NCAA rules. But so if you if you had have to go straight pro. Yeah. And cool. but but that was also the thing. I don't even think I mentioned this, but it, it was like a huge part of it. I had. So when they sent us home in like March, like mid March, I had uh, I had like an agent. I, I didn't sign with one like because you're not allowed to sign with any agents when you're in. Uh, That's in, when you're in college. But. I had trials in Europe set up in June to, in like five different countries that I was wow. going to go trial in and I was going to go fly over, but then travel got banned and I'm like, well, this sucks. Like, so I'm really going to take advantage of LA because, right. Or like all oh, this opportunity that I'm getting because dude, everything that felt right there was nothing place. else to do. Soccer like was kind of like, that literally felt right, right into place. Yeah. yeah I was like, soccer's wow. kind of not Merger working out for me right now. And I was like, well, I'm just going to do this. And, yeah, so I, I mean, I still go play soccer for fun here and there, but yeah, I don't play competitively anymore, which is sad. But I mean, now that like you have all this, you could like even start if you want, like start like a soccer club on the side, like yeah. just something that, that's like that's what I said. Yeah, people are yeah. boxing, start a soccer league. Yeah, yeah with all the influences, yeah, that'd, that'd be, be fun. Sick. Well, imagine I mean, being like one of the best at something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's crazy to yeah. think about. It's gotta be a cool feeling. What year yeah. were you born? Oh one. Whoa! Oh, I know. That sounds crazy. What month? May. May 4th. Wait, oh. my little sister, <laughs> Hidai like, is born in 01. Yeah. Imagine Weird. them just standing next to each other. That's fucking crazy. Oh, May 4th. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so right now you can go back to pro if you wanted to and then still do social media and then double time the money. Oh, that'd be. It would be a lot, but I would definitely have to like, I don't know if I could still. I don't think there's enough days in the is week. Is soccer a big commitment? Yeah. Like if you want to join the side? Yes. Okay. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, it's it's like very, whereas social media is very like mentally draining. Soccer is obviously. Physically. Physically. Yeah. But it's also mentally because it's a thinking game, you know, like yeah. you got to always be aware. But yeah, soccer, like my best friend that plays uh, for LAFC, they're a local MLS team and he plays for their full team. And he literally has an apartment in downtown goes to practice every morning kind of chills the rest of the day yeah but obviously like still takes care of himself he doesn't like let loose and kind of just do whatever and like yeah. eat ice cream or anything but he just hear that he <laughs> no ice cream <laughs> but yeah, he, I heard that yeah. very clear he doesn't very let clear. himself go or anything like that for the rest of the day oh, i enjoy ice cream all the time but like i mean he has a lot of free time during the day but i i would doubt like after a long training i don't i don't think he would want to go back and like 
make content. Make you know? a TikTok, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully you do get on a national team. We could be like, we had Noah Beck, fucking national <laughs> USA, fucking professional yeah, player on our pocket. That'd be before pretty you. cool. That'd be pretty cool. You'll make it right to the top because of the numbers, and then you're picked out of like three people, like final three. But like you're right there because your numbers are just mm -hmm. like Timothy Chalamet's walking out of the audition <laughs> room. Shit. <laughs> hey, that's like one of the things when I got into because when I knew I wanted to kind of dip my toes into acting, I wasn't just gonna wait for the opportunity and being like, okay, I'll just go in. Like it can't be that hard. Like I wanted to make sure I was good first because I don't want people to think exactly what you were thinking of, like. Oh, he, he was given it. He's a yeah. social media app. Yeah. yeah, like he definitely yeah. just got this because of his numbers. Like, I don't want people to think. I want yeah. people to like who don't know me. Yeah. To like watch the movie and be like, he was a good actor. Like, exactly. That's like a compliment because. Mm -hmm. No, you're disciplined. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think that'd be. I think that'd be really cool because I don't want. Yeah, like I don't want people thinking, oh, he only got this because of his numbers. Because I have had, like, I because of the numbers, I am fortunate to have like these calls with like casting directors and like kind of getting their like get on their good side and like, mm -hmm. like you said, when they make a movie purely based around you and like we thought you were perfect for this role like i think that'd be so cool mm -hmm. but at the same time like i don't i, I hate how people would automatically think yeah like, we're, we're on the same this. yeah we're on the same page as you like that we think that's like you want to yeah. be the best you want to be really good just like um, yeah like, like, a, like it like is a, an advantage though i, I would and i said like that just like if a friend of mine that i know who's like an amazing writer yeah. wrote something like i wouldn't i think it's different when you feel like you've earned it as opposed to like getting it actually handed to oh, you. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. totally different. They could write you into like a new age remake of the, what was it, the Green Machine? The Big Green? The Big Green, the that's big what green. it was. <laughs> yeah. What was. What's that? It's the, a movie. It's a soccer, soccer movie. It's, it's like the... the Sandlot of Kids. Yeah. Uh, soccer. Right. Um, or, or Kicking they... and Screaming. You could be the coach. Oh, oh hey, there we fun. go. Kicking that's screaming. a fun little movie. Classic. Yeah. I watched it in the movie theater when it came out. Oh, my With God. Will Ferrell. Will yeah. Ferrell. That was Classic. so good. All right, you want to close this motherfucker out? Easy. Yeah, oh. close us out. Yeah, close us out. <laughs> Do you know what we say in that? No. We don't say anything. <laughs> okay. Can you sing? No. Oh. I wish. <laughs> yes! There's one thing. That's <laughs> one thing I'm... Not I not yeah, singing. you can't yeah. sing. No <laughs> 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 I really wish I could sing. Try to match Zane's pitch. Ready? Zane, hit a note. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you can sing. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. His mentor is I can't Charlie Poot. I don't even want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you you have Noah Centennial saying it's Charlie Poot. Charlie That's so Poot. cool. All right, hey, hey. Keep it. Keep it. All right. Uh, 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 and that's unfiltered. Thank you. Do you have anything you want to plug in? Anything coming up? Uh, no, I'm just. Follow Humble. me on all my wow, socials pure. if you want. I like him. <laughs> he knows he's going to get Yeah, he just... <laughs> they know me. I don't got to tell him where to go there. I don't need to tell. But we have, <laughs> well, we have a lot of plugging to do. We have our coffee here. Uh, this is Cremota Coffee. We just came out with two new flavors. We've got decaf and sweet butter hazelnut. And then you can get them all in the bags. Uh, we don't have them up here, but every flavor. <laughs> they exist. Um, they're, they're real. I promise. <laughs> we also have these really cute tumblers where you can drink your coffee out of. I drink out of it every day. So you guys should get that too. Do you have tattoos? No. Guys. <laughs> Welcome to the club, man. No tats. <laughs> nice. You're really going to... stupid. Let's, cl let's close this off. Right, let's just right, fucking yeah, shut yeah. this shit off. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the, uh, <laughs> for the episode. Thank you, Noah, for coming on. That was Thank incredible. You. You're so a good much. dude, Noah, back. Thank I you guys like for you, having man. me. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Respect. Thank you. Now let's go have that cigarette you were wanting. <laughs> 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 Well, also not true. Not true. <laughs> well, thanks thanks again for watching, guys. And Ethan Fulton, you can check us out. Um, we post audio every Monday on Spotify. Uh, uh, mm. Apple Podcasts. There it's you on go. Pandora. And perfect. Uh, iHeartRadio. There you and go. And we got a highlights channel on YouTube. Oh, yeah. We have an unfiltered highlights channel. You can check it out at YouTube.com slash unfiltered highlights. All right. And All then right. We, can, we post a video <laughs> version of this podcast on YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath every Tuesdays. All right, guys. We love you. Right. Sometimes. That was rough. Okay. Thank you, Noah, again. Of thank course. You. Thank you guys thank you, for having me. Yeah. Give it a little cook. Give it a little cook. There you go. Oh, That's going to be slowed down and then transitioned. Slide <laughs> <laughs> it. My opponent. <laughs> boom, boom. All right.